I am Neo Starling. And if you weren't sure before, now you are. Hello everybody, how's it going? I am Neo Starling and I'm here with a tutorial to show you guys how to resolve your audio problems whenever you try to record on OBS. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably tried doing some recordings and for some reason or another, as soon as you would hit play on your recording to see what would happen, you probably wouldn't get any audio. And ever since I figured it out, I feel like it's my duty as a member of this community to kind of just put this information out there because we should just help each other as people. I think it's pretty awesome that we have the ability and the platforms to do these type of things nowadays. So I'm going to show you how I resolved it um, very quickly. So um, I'm going to give you an example first of what I'm talking about. So I'll click over here. I tried to do a review for uh, SmackDown Live, and when I did it after the recording was done, I had no audio whatsoever. So I'm going to play the video so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, as you can clearly see, I, I'm not saying anything. Like, you can hear me talk now, but you can't hear this guy, right? And that was frustrating as hell, let me tell you. So... Um, I did a sample once I figured it out, and this is what it sounds like now. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Uh, this is just a test to pretty much see if that just happened. My audio problem that I was having with OBS, where I yeah. So now that that's been resolved, I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to show you guys how I pretty much did this. So I'll bring my OBS here to the bottom where everyone can see. And it's very simple. It's such an easy fix. I don't know how it took me so long to figure it out, but basically what you do is you go to your settings and under your settings, you're going to go to your output under output. You'll go to audio. Now, as you can see, everything is blanked out here because I'm currently recording this as I'm doing this video. So it's not going to show you everything in a way that you can change it. Like if I click here, I can't change anything. But basically what I did was um, all the audio bit rates by default on each track they're set at, I believe, 120. Um, that's the default setting for them. Now, if it is at a 120, you're not going to be able to record with any sound. It's just not going to let you do it. And what you basically have to do is switch all of them to 320. 320, I found, was the sweet spot. And when I did that, suddenly, magic. Everything happened and all was right with the world again. Or my world, at least. So that's pretty much it. And again, if you guys are wondering, oh, why can't I give you like an example here? Again, it's because I'm currently recording. But if I weren't recording, you'd be able to change all of those settings yourself. So just do that. And once you change all of them to 320, you just hit apply and then OK, and it'll finalize your settings. So that's pretty much how you do it. And I showed you the result. I was able to record audio, actual audio that we could use for making YouTube videos, tutorials, whatever you want to make, what, whatever it is that, that your heart desires. And now you're able to do it thanks to this video. So I hope I've been a help to any of you. Uh, once again, if you like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Get this all over the internet, honestly, because these are the type of things that I'm talking about. When we all need a solution to a problem that we can't find, we want to be able to find it. So. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me by now. I hope this video was a help to you. Um, I am Neil Starling. And if you guys weren't sure before, now you are.